I was reminded by this video I seen today that, you know, sometimes the trash in death is the best fertilizer. And I'm saying that, you know, I was watching the video, brother was, had caught a whole bunch of crappy. He done, he done already filleted them and fried them, had an awesome fish fry. Matter of fact, the fish fry was for the homeless. I just was passing out fried crappy plates for the homeless. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! Man. Fried crappy plates. These jokers caught so many crappy, they fried them, had a fish fry for the, let me stay focused. Hey man, let me stay focused, Lord. Um, so he was taking the leftovers and, and he was making a compost from from the fish that they had done scaled and um and fried. <clears throat> and that reminded me that, you know, sometimes, man, you know, and the compost of, of course is to grow things. Um, to have a garden to flourish something for something to flourish out. And that, you know, sometimes death, sometimes um, some of the garbage, some of the lower tier things, some of the things that are disregarded are some of the best things um, used to grow something or for the word. It's some of the best soil for the word to be planted in and something to grow out of that or the words or that you know something to flourish or the spirit to flourish out of that and this you know we see why you know christ is is going to the the galatians not the galatians i'm sorry but the galileans and going to the taxpayers and the and the prostitutes and the, the people that were um were the lower class of people the people that were discarded the people that were hated uh, people that didn't want to be seen with, uh, because you know, when that story is planted, when that when that word is planted, um, you know, it it can flourish uh, in those environments. That's why the testimonies are so vital, and a lot of the testimonies and the breaking down are coming from people who've been through something, who've been brought out of something. That's what makes people want to spread the good news and spread the gospel of Christ and what Christ has done for them uh, because they've gone through something and that seed and that that seed was planted in such a dark place. And you need darkness also. You know, a seed needs darkness. Also, you know, and this is why it's important that you learn agriculture. You know, to start a seed, you can artificially start a seed um by like placing it you know in some moisture in inside of a, a black paper bag and put it in the cabinet somewhere um and it'll bud from that it don't have to be in no soil but it'll bud from that and then you put it in the soil but i think people were making sprouts that's how people make sprouts um so you need that darkness also you need that isolation you need to be separated all right, you need to be sacred. You need to be in a dark place, and you need to be, you need to be in a place of mortification. You need to be mortifying your flesh. All right, and so the, from that, some from that mortified flesh, in that dark place, uh, that word can spring up, man. That's some good fertile. I mean, that's some good, some good soil, some good fertilized soil. Um, and so, if you had a point in life where you're going through something, it's very dark and. You're isolated and, you know, people are discarding you and you're at the, you know, you're at the bottom tier of society. Oh, man, you're in a great place to receive the word. I pray this thing was edifying. Y'all be blessed. We'll see you in the next one.